Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jade. Thank you for watching this video. And today I kind of just want to sit down and play with makeup. Um, I definitely want to put an emphasis on the new eyeshadow palette that I just received in the mail yesterday. It is the Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb eyeshadow palette. And this is what it looks like. I... I died for this. I already did my brows. I already have um, concealer on my lids. And I, am, I do do eyeshadow first. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing with that. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is called Lily. And it's just this like white, pinkish white shadow. And this palette does come with a pretty decent mirror. So that's what I'm going to be using. And I'm just going to get a kind of like a fluffy crease brush. This is a BH number 8. And I am just going to just put that in my crease. And like... Just gonna use this as like a transition. It doesn't really show up, but it obviously there's product. It's basically the same color as my eyelids. I'm gonna go in with the shade that's right underneath it, which is Magnolia. It's a really pretty, like peachy, light peachy coral shade. And what I found with these shadows, because I did play with it a lot yesterday, is they're not super pigmented right when you put them on your lid, but they build up beautifully and they build up super well i don't know if y'all can see like he, yeah but it's just and i'm just putting that all in my crease i'm not going for anything crazy today i love this palette i think all the colors are really complementary to like me personally like i think if i were to be an eyeshadow palette i'd be something that looks like this like this is just it's gorgeous i love that shade like you can do bold looks with this palette you can do simple soft looks with it you know and just for a warning I am someone who uses like the same eyeshadow brush for like 20 different colors so if that stresses you out I'm just letting you know I'm probably gonna be using this whole this brush for like all the colors <laughs> but I'm just being, and they blend out really well too and I'm just making sure I get that really nice in the crease as pigmented as I want I really like this color just really pretty peachy shade. I'm taking the shade above Magnolia, which is, I don't know, I can never say this word. Um, let's see. Peony, 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 peony. We'll say peony. It's a really pretty, just um, orangey coral. And then I am gonna put that a little bit lower down, not as far up, just a little bit more deeper. A little deeper in the crease than that first shade just get some depth nothing crazy though i don't want to go dark with this look i mean you can't really go dark with this look there's not dark colors in here but i'm just deepen that up i don't know what i'm doing i don't know what my makeup is going to turn out like i don't know because i'm like just playing around but i really really wanted to make a video with this palette like i knew as soon as i ordered it i was like i want to make a video because this palette is just beautiful and I haven't found too many videos on it yet. Um, Smoky Glow, I love her channel. I'll link the, her video in the description. She did a tutorial with this palette. Go check her out. And also, I can't remember his exact channel name, but I will link his video down below as well. But Neon MUA, he did a video and he does like an in-depth review slash kind of tutorial for some impressions. Um, over this palette, so I'll link his video as well. If you do have a deeper complexion, um, I highly suggest watching his video. Um, I'm not sure what- I don't want anything too deep on the lid. I don't- I don't know what. Because I know- I think I want to use Plumeria? Plumeria? I don't know how to say that one either, but it's just the green matte in here. I think I want to put that on the lower lash line. So I'm trying to decide what shade I want. We're gonna use Rose Mallow. That is my favorite shade in this palette is this um just pink shimmer it's really pretty i think i actually am gonna go in with the color um daffodil which is the bright orangey shade and again taking the same brush because i'm just focusing that kind of just on this outer corner like every single shade in this palette so far that i've used builds up beautifully if it's not as pigmented as you want it right off the bat just blend and build because like you can see that shade's coming through. It's so pretty. I am going to take that kind of 
Just lower down in the crease to get even into my inner corner. This is the first thing I've ever used from uh, Midas Cosmetics as well. And I really, really am glad that I bought it. Because it, first of all, it's beautiful. Second of all, it's only $29. And I think it's sold out, but they do have pre-order available. So I suggest pre-ordering. If you're looking for a really good, just different palette this palette is just so different like there's a lot of unique shades in here that i don't have in the rest of my collection i'm gonna take my finger and get rose mallow on my finger and just tap 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 if i were an eyeshadow like if i were an eyeshadow palette i'd be this palette if i were an eyeshadow like an actual color i'd be this one it's just a really beautiful like a light pink i'm gonna take um a flat little shader brush and I am gonna get rose mallow on that and just pack some more on my lid. I like to use my finger to first apply a shadow just to get a really good like just get it down and then go over it with a brush. This shadow in particular is a little different formula than what I've seen before. It's really um not powdery but it's like I don't know how to describe it it's like a more loose shimmer shade if that makes sense like I don't know how to describe it it's not powdery I highly suggest like using your finger with it and then I'm going to take that same brush I'm just going to wipe it off because we don't we don't use clean brushes in this in this channel I'm going to take the shade clover which is this shimmery green right here it's really pretty hopefully you can see it's not I mean it's still really bright and super pigmented it's just not as like well, I mean, look at that. That's pretty. <laughs> it's just not as, like, deep as you would think it would be. I'm gonna do my, um, brow bone, too. Oh, yes. oh, I love that. And I think that that green mat on the lower lash line will really just tie together everything. That's so pretty. That's so pretty. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to do my face before I do my lower lash line. And I'm gonna be using the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. I'm gonna get it, and I usually just use one pump. I usually don't even use that much. Personally, I am not someone who likes a lot of face makeup. I like, like, in terms of, like, foundation concealer. I like more natural looking skin. The most full coverage foundation I ever wore or owned was a Tarte Rainforest of the Sea and that was like so long ago so when it first came out I bought that. I love that foundation. I use that like every day. I think I had it in high school. I don't know how I afforded it in high school but somehow I did. <laughs> it smells kind of like um it doesn't smell bad. It just kind of smells like skincare. And I just put like whatever's left on my hand after that one pump. Can't even see. Um, I'll just put it on my cheek area. I really don't like anything too heavy, and I do like this foundation a lot. Um, it sets itself quite nicely. Like I wouldn't call this a matte foundation. I would call this like a like a natural satin finish foundation. And because I'm too lazy to get a sponge get my sponge and go wet it I'm just gonna apply a little bit of concealer with that same brush and I'm not going anywhere so this isn't you know life or death <laughs> in terms of like how I'm applying my concealer and this one I feel like sets really nicely and I don't really have to set it and then I am gonna go in with my finger and like get the inner portion So now that that's done, I'm gonna let that set itself, which, you know, whatever. Um, I'm gonna go in with that matte green shade. It's called, I don't know how you pronounce that, but it's the Plu, Plumeria, Plumeria, Plum, Plumeria. I don't know how you pronounce that at all. And I'm just taking a BH Cosmetics number five brush. It's just like a little, like, packing type brush, but it works really well for the bottom lash line. And I'm just gonna take some of that 
and and I'm taking that shade all along the lower part, even like up to my inner corner. That's really pretty. But I really love this brush because it just gets up there, like it gets up in there really nicely. And I'm about that. I, mm, I love doing the lower lash line. I feel like it really just ties the look together. So I'm going to take some Magnolia on that same brush. And I'm going to go right in here and just blend those shades kind of together and go underneath the green. Yeah, and that's basically all I'm doing for the eyes besides mascara and lashes, which I will do at the end. So I'm going to go in with my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm trying to hit pan on this. I'm, I feel like I'm super, super close, and I'm not keeping it. I probably should have already like tossed it, but I'm so close to hitting pan on it that I'm just going gonna, just gonna to keep on going. Oh, look, my headband is falling off. You know what? We don't need it. Oh my god, did I hit pan? Oh my god, I can see the pan just now. We hit pan! I don't even know if you can see the bronzer on me. I, I look all kinds of crazy right now. <laughs> For blush, I'm going in with the ColourPop Press Powder Blush in Rom-Com. It is super easy to go overboard with this blush, especially with the brush that I use. Like, you can see. But... I like blush. I used to never wear blush. I used to never wear bronzer. Oh god. <laughs> Do I look like a clown? It's okay. Oh lord. I think I am gonna go over it with my foundation brush. Just a little bit. I don't know if that'll help. But... So we have blush. All that good stuff. Um, for highlight, I'm going in with my favorite highlighter ever. This is the Over Cosmetics Pillow Talk highlighter, and I bought the mini because the mini is all you need. I guarantee you that. Um, I'm trying to hit pan on this as well because I'm trying to justify this purchase because if I hit pan on this, that's me justifying that I can buy the big size. Like, it's... And it's pinky toned, but it's not too pinky toned, and it's just, it's everything that I, that I am. And I put this shit, like, I'm a highlighting ass bitch, okay? So I will put a highlighter, too much highlighter on my face, and I don't care, because I love highlighter, and I think that if you love something, enough is never enough. Every time I use this highlighter, I get so excited. I've used it hundreds of times and every time is like day one. I'm gonna go put on lashes and mascara, fix whatever this is, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I did something with my hair, kinda put on actual clothes, did lashes, mascara. I think that actually, that like tied everything together. The only thing that I forgot to do was set my face and then I think I'm gonna put on a gloss, but I don't know and if you can hear that noise it's because the wind is blowing loud and that's just the way it's gonna be just actually bought this and I've been using it every single day I love it it is the elf glow dewy mist it has coconut oil and argan oil it's amazing. it smells so good it smells really really good it's amazing and if you guys well, I mean, you wouldn't know, but I do have, like, normal to dry skin, so I love good, like, dewy setting spray. Oh, it smells just like coconut. Just give it a good shake, and then... <sighs> it does spray a lot at once, so I will um, say that. It's only eight bucks at Walmart, so if you have dry skin and coconut oil doesn't bother your skin, I... So just picking that up and for gloss i'm just going to use the wet and wild jade lip gloss from the crystal cavern collection <laughs> my name's jade that's funny and then i'm just gonna there we go and that 
is it for the makeup. This is the look that I got. I hope you guys like it. I like it. I love this palette. This palette is amazing. Um, I love the colors in here. This is a, it's kind of like a breath of fresh air to be honest. It looks completely different than a lot of palettes I've been seeing coming out. It has a lot of unique shades. It does have pressed glitters in there, which I didn't use today, but they're just like your average pressed glitter. They're fine. I love this palette. It comes with a mirror, as you can see, mirror, big mirror. And then, there you go. I love the green in the inner corner. I love it underneath my brow bone. I think this palette is awesome. I will be buying from Midas Cosmetics really soon when I get paid again. <laughs> I will be linking um, the website to get this down below. But yes, Midas Cosmetics Flower Bomb palette is bomb. It's very beautiful. And I will be using this a lot on this channel. This is going to be, strangely enough, an everyday palette for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys will come back and watch me again. I'm very awkward, very shy, but here we are. Thank you for watching.